Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Joe Simons, like diamonds. Got my bro Luke Simons here. With? Our line tester. With the line tester and Otis the dog in um, one of the hottest rooms I've ever done a podcast in in my entire life. Yeah, well, We're... it's early August and the uh. AC decided not to work and uh, and there's no fan in this room. So that all equates to a very hot room. So well, this is going to be a quick one. And we've been on the water and there's like no breeze yeah. out there at all. And it's like already 92 at 10 a.m. So I come in, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get an AC. And there's zero AC in here. At least you don't have to sleep in it, dude. Whew, that's a good point. That is a good point. So we wanted to, to do a podcast on this thing. We did a video, gosh, it's been like two months, and you've been doing a lot of little tests on this line tester. Is it yep. all, what would it be, the line strength tester? Not yeah, what, tester. It, what it is, it's just the ultimate calibrate. It's a. It's like a legitimate calibrated machine I'm gonna go that will- i to pick the camera up and actually zoom in on it. That will measure the breaking strength of our lines. and. Uh, and so what I've been doing is I've been testing for for many years. I've been testing knots on on, uh, and I've been doing it just with, without a fancy device like this. I've been doing head to head knot contest, so you can see which one's stronger. But I've never known precisely how much stronger it actually is. And so this will let us get a precise measurement. And so we'll go ahead and just show you an example. I'll obviously be making um, making these more detailed later on. So I have an FG knot. We're just gonna do a quick test on the FG knot, right? On what's the strongest way to connect a braid to a mono leader. In this case, it's a fluoro. This is very, so 30 pound vanish to 10 pound power pro. And so first option is gonna be the FG knot. And so we're gonna see, we're gonna test it out and literally Let's see. Hold it down real quick. I'm gonna get in there and see that bad boy. Hold it over. This is what it looks like when Luke and I don't have uh, our video guy. Our boy Cody called in uh, sick here, so we're doing all this ourselves here. Yeah, so this is the thinnest knot possible. Uh, for those who aren't aware, the FG knot is basically like a Chinese finger trap um, that the, the leader line never doubles over. Are we allowed to say Chinese anymore, finger traps? Is I that don't know, sorry if it offend anybody, but that's, um, that's what it is. And it's, it's extremely strong. And so uh, what, I've, what I've realized for many years, I thought that it's better to go, it's stronger to use a swivel but this connection has been stronger than any any braid to swivel connection I've ever found, and it's been significantly stronger than like popular knots like the Uni knot, the Albright, the the uh, Crazy Alberto, you name it. This thin little FG knot for a braid to leader has been amazingly good. So all right, so how does it work? Let's go ahead and put it on there. All right, so you just you just strap it on there. Yep, and you then you still have to own a swivel, which is the bad news. Yeah. <laughs> And so I tied the leader to the swivel, and now we're going to thread it through this thing. So why does this thing already say 0.08? Because I put a little bit of pressure on it. Ooh, we need to get that thing calibrated. So I'm going to trust it. Whoa, it hold does. up now. Lift it up. Now what's that thing doing over there? What are those uh, numbers? I might have tied it too long. Let's see. I've got to get that thing over. Oh, no, this, this thing is, is awesome. This is going to be close. Might have tied a little bit too long. And so this FG knot is really hard to break, so i got to use this thing. It's actually a member sent this in, and thank you. This is like a it's few so years cool. ago. And let me wind it up. So we're going to get it right down on there. So we're now at 0.72. Let's see if we can break well, this puppy. Okay, well, you were at 0.72, so you're already pulling on it? Yeah, that's just as it's getting okay, more tension. So now you just. So now the FG knot is getting up out of that device. So now we're at nine. And so this, by the way. Oh, yeah, hold it there. I want to sh show them what this like. So the, the knot down. Whoop. So the, the knot is outside of the swivel. That's no, what outside the swivel. Yeah. So, the, so this is so smooth. That so far, the line has never busted on this on this nice smooth swivel. Um, I want that knot out of there. And so for all these knots, for those who say that their knot never breaks, I say they've probably never tested it because 99% <laughs> of the time the break will happen. Doesn't matter what knot you're using, the break will happen right at the top of the knot. Right, basically right as the line goes into the knot and makes its first turn that's where it's going to break. So for those who say that when I have people, I, I hear it all the time, my knot never fails, I promise you it will fail if you put enough pressure on it. It won't be, the, the middle of the line rarely ever breaks unless there's a, a, a nick in it. It is really hard to 
constrict line in a knot and not have it create a little bit of weak point. Gee, Otis, uh, yeah, Otis, we got a problem over here with Otis. See, that guy's like going, going like down. This, like this hot water, hot uh, stuff Jeez. here. All right, so we're at nine pounds. This is a ten pound line. You would think that would be close to the breaking point, but it is not. Oh, he keeps Guarantee on turning it. So you're holding that as hard as you can to not let it spin. Yep. So now we're at 12. And it might max out before we even break this thing. So what's this thing, what are these other numbers over here for? I don't know. You Let's, don't know? I've got to pull so, on it this way. There we are. So oh, what it just busted. Oh, wow. So I actually busted the leader. So the 30 pound leader broke. So the uni knot. Wow. No, the, not uni, FG. No, the FG stuck. The F FG oh, was yeah, good. the uni there. I'm, I'm so with I, you. So I tied a uni knot up to this swivel, and that's that. So a 30 pound uni knot uh, gave way before the 10 pound braid to the 30 pound leader. And that was it. That was at 20 pounds. So that just shows that, hey, this FG knot is legit. On a 10 pound braid connecting to a 30 pound leader, the, the actual line to line held out ahead of the the leader to the swivel or yep. the hook and so That's if you're cool. listening to this on the podcast and can't visualize this it looks like i don't know, it looks like something you see like in a hospital room like uh like the doesn't it like like the bed remote like up down um but it's got numbers and it's on the but so you started at 0. 0.72 right you didn't start at zero I started at zero is when you when you actually zoomed in on it. Oh, I don't know about it that. It started at zero. We gotta figure out what these other numbers mean over here too. Yeah. So guys, we get all these numbers. Um, Luke obviously did not read the manual, but yes. we, we know what that means. So it's a point oh five. There's no pressure on it right now. We gotta zero that thing out, dude. Reset. Yeah, what the heck is it? Should it reset? Zero that puppy complications. Out. This is the beauty about yeah, there it is. our podcast and all of our little fishing shows is we don't edit it. Yeah, these you know, a lot of these fishing shows they take three days to film a thirty-minute show. Come on, that's laughable. Yeah, this machine was not designed for uh, for fishermen. Two knuckleheads. It's, it's designed for like legit scientists. I mean, this is a very expensive machine, um, but we're using. It. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a double uni. So on the make 30, sure you're tying it right, so people can't yeah. say, oh, he's just tying weak. 30 weak pound knots. line. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for braid too. I'm not. I'm not purposely making this weak. So that was seven turns on the mono side, which is more than most people do. But the more turns, most people usually do five, right? Yep. And then on the bra on the braid side, I'm gonna do ten because it's braid. So if you're listening, he is now tying the double uni. To, this is going to the swivel. Oh, this is this is gonna be. Oh, the you're exact just going. Same. Oh, you're going. I'm, I'm repeating the same thing, but instead of the FG. I'm with you. I missed this part. We're going to do the uni. So there's two. Kind of hard to see this green. So line. what else can you test? Test anything. Meaning, what else do you plan on testing besides just knots? Are you gonna test different types of lines too? Well, the the knots on different lines, absolutely. Yeah. Because the knots are. Is, is, the knot's going to break. The line won't be breaking. It's it's how good can a line handle a knot is what. Have you have you found that any uh, type of brand is best yet, or have you even tried? I just did a test on Power Pro versus the new Power Pro V2 Super mm -hmm. Slick, and I did a casting contest first. The the normal Power Pro with the the four strand, which is less expensive, uh, that actually won the casting contest. But then when when put against this on the on the uh, the actual knots, the V2 won by a good amount. But what was interesting, mm. it won by over 20% for the uni knot. I did the, the, uh, the uni knot, um, and then I did the FG knot to see how that would handle, and there it was only 4% better. So the slick was not as strong, but it was still stronger. No, the, str the slick was stronger, just not, not as strong. As as strong. As, okay, huh. But again, that's because the uni knot, or sorry, the FG knot, it, uh, it takes away the hard turns in the line. I kind of, this thing does not want to I put too many coils in there. Oh, you tried to overdo it there. Hot shot. Yeah, I lost count and I just kept doing them. What happens Let's when see. you put 15 coils. Oh, it, it went. Oh, I yeah, saw that, it. That one's going down. down. Let's see that bad boy. Get these tags out of there. That is the old double uni. The it's interesting. Old. Still, I, I think more people tie this going braid to leader. Yeah, it's easy. Um, I, I think the F FG is so easy once you, just like anything, you do it enough times. So what are you going to tie here now? A uni again? The uni, Keep yep. Congruent? Consistent? 
And this is cool, guys. What, what do you think? Um, I, I'd love to hear your feedbacks, whether you're watching on the YouTube, the Facebook, or on the podcast. Let us know, obviously, what type of knots. But I think I'm, I'm really curious just about the brands. Because, um, you know, we went uh, fishing with, uh, with Marcos that day in uh, Everglades. Remember that, Luke? And he was swearing that he's tried Power Pro versus the Daiwa J Braid, and the J Braid was holding up a whole lot better in terms of, of line strength. So I'm really curious about that. And I well, was. Well, we can do that right here. Good right there. Oh, whoa! What do you know? We got a little Daiwa J Braid. Ooh, this is going to be like years of fun. Yeah, well, we're going to know. I mean, we're going to literally go through all, right, so all these see major, the major lines. Me, hold that up so we can zoom in and one can there's, see that it's the a, uni. You uh, put your finger. Oh, there we go. I see it. Oh, yeah. All right, watch out. It's a good uni. All right, so it's about the same. There's a little bit of pressure just as soon as you, that's what it looks like it's doing. So as soon as you even put yeah, the hit line it. on there. So it's at 0 0.06. And we still don't know what that other number means, but. And you just twist that. Dude, this is like tort like a torture chamber. Like, I am going to keep twisting into your arms. Whoa. What was that? What fell? That was the uh, power. Oh. Just kind of necessary. But isn't this thing cool? This next tech, the DFS 200, with all the bells and whistles. All right, let's right, see so if we can the knot is through. You guys can see that again. So now we're at 6.7, oh, wow, nine. Usually this will be at around 17 and it's maxed out. The other one was at 19. Yeah, so that one, the the actual, yep, so right, right at 17, that's basically, it's been, the uni has been breaking at like 16.9 to 17.6 consistently. And again, look where it broke. Let's check out the knot. My knots Here it don't is. break. The braid, see the, the braid on this backside is still attached. And you can see that just barely, you can barely see a remnant of the top part of the braid. It broke right there at the very first bend. So if, if you're listening on the podcast, you got to tune into this point right ah i just lost it in the camera it was perfectly zoomed in but to see because so many people have this misconception that their their double unis are not breaking yeah because, and we just proved it there yeah and so here's here's what the other end looked like so, all right so when you reel it back up like oh it kind of looks this one you can actually tell something happens so let's say you reel it up in the water it's going to come back like that and let's put it on this i can see it you got very subtle hands okay. <laughs> Put it out of that, that. Yeah, and you've been moisturizing. And so you look at that and like, oh my gosh, I uh, my my line broke, All right? But your line didn't break. You're not broke, because you think that the curly Q is long, the curly Q means that the knot slid out. That's a sign of a bad knot. A knot should never slide out. Um, the knots break. Um, all knots I've tested break. They will eventually. If they don't, you're not pulling hard enough. And when they break, they end up like this. They don't have the curly Q. They have a straight. A straight line like that. Oh, I think a shark got it. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and so here's what the when the uni knot broke. I say that because I've said that before. When the uni knot broke on the swivel, here's what it is. Right, it's not a curly cue. It does curl just a little bit, and that doesn't happen all the time. But this one, you can actually tell the knot broke because it did have that little curl. But yep. again, a lot of times it'll be a, a smooth slice, and you have no idea unless you actually look at the other end. And you can you can never do that unless you're actually testing knots. So cool. If you hear somebody say they're not never breaks, I would uh, I would just Dude, know that they. What is doing down there? What is? Hey, you're eating you're eating the package, bud. So if you guys missed That's prior podcast, uh, Luke was walking his dog and Otis pooped out. How many slam shadies? Uh, three. Three slam shadies pooped out and a and, leprechaun. And, yeah, and a leprechaun. And we got a little video footage of that. He's now eating. He's eating the top of the box. I don't know if you care or not. So uh, I think he's got the toughest stomach. So yeah, so same premise, right? So we can do that for anything. One more test. You want to do another one? One another? more. Yeah, come See on how this, now. How this V2 does? I don't, even, I don't even mind. I'm sweating so much. This is so cool. You can see the sweat on your face right now. I believe it. It's hot. Yeesh. I think it might be cooler outside. There's a slight breeze. If there's any breeze at all, it will be cooler. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to test the Daiwa J braid. All right, reset it. Reset it. I'm going to reset our next tech, DFS 200. 
That and, is, we're, uh, and we're going to use model. the uni knot. And I promise by next time, we'll at least have a better idea of what this other number means. We, we might not know exactly, but we'll have a better idea. All right, Luke? Yeah, I've never looked at it. I just care about the main <laughs> pound strength. Yes, yeah, so we went out this morning and um, we're testing out a new shrimp lure. Pretty, uh, it's pretty doggone effective. As, as much as I always like to stick with a Slam Shady and still do, especially when covering new ground, but once you find a place that you know there's some big fish, this shrimp lure is, it, it's a little bit slower to fish compared to the Slam Shady, power fishing, but doggone, uh, man, it gets some strikes from big fish, doesn't it? Yeah, it's been working you good. Got, you got broke off a couple times. Yeah, I'm still bummed about that. I've been, I've been big, big using fish. ten pound line. I should have, I should have brought my big rig out. I wasn't really planning on doing that dock fishing. So if you're listening on the podcast and you hear some funky sound, that's Luke lowering this, um, or not strength majigger heimer. All right. So why do you even have to lift it up at all if you're just going to pull the, the line out until it breaks? Uh, because I think it's better to do it where you lift it up. Just to get the knot out of the... Well, in this case, there's no knot. It's a lot easier when you're tying it when you're doing it just to a... We're doing a line to a... We're doing the uni knot only. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now we don't have to have the, the leader in there. So now it's just straight straight braid. We're going to do it the proper way here. All right. So we got... Which one are we going with first? Doing the uh, J braid. All right. The Daiwa J braid X8. All right. There it is. So, Daiwa J Braid X8, 10 pound. Let's go ahead and zero this puppy out. Reset Luke's it. Zeroing out the Next Tech DFS officially, 200. Officially zeroed. And now let's start cranking this puppy up. All right, and we can see that is on there nice and snug. All right, we're starting it's to get some through. tension. Yep. And this again, a 10 pound braid. And I did a uni knot with seven turns. I'll do the same thing with the, with the other knot. I think it's getting. You're tight high. already. You're now at 10 already. So now you're 11. Luke's slowly twisting that bad boy. 14. Oh man, this is strong. Yeah, it's putting up a good fight. 15. It's now over 16. 17. Ooh. So it's going to be. Oh, oh, snap, crackle, pop. I heard it. So 18. And. 18.85. Again, Let's so see. this one, this one actually. Is that one actually, yeah, broke. So they actually, the thing broke. The uh, part that connected the swivel totally broke off. <laughs> the knot's still intact. Oh, they're just, yeah, just slid right off. No, it's not. So 18.8, that's what we have to beat. And again, cool. this, this uh, All right, let's see if our boy Marcos is right. I guess he, he was factoring in abrasion too, just in terms of not losing as many fish because we were fishing some pretty, pretty nasty stuff. 18.85, Luke. So Luke is marking it down. To make sure it's 100% official. Gotta log it. You gotta, gotta log, it. log it. We're gonna, you're gonna get, I'm gonna have to buy you your own log book that you can keep right here next to you. Keep track of all For, this stuff. Right now it's a little sheet of paper. Yeah, we don't wanna take over any room in your diary <laughs> to keep. <laughs> Dear diary, today Otis pooped out three slam shadies. It's a good day. Dear diary, today I had to pick up three catfish after catching them one by one. Didn't you catch three catfish? Don't be shaking your head, dude. It's two today. I, I, I remember three. I guess that one maybe got off. You even snagged one. Not a good day. Ooh. Still caught some decent fish, though. Trout, gag grouper, red grouper. Trout, snook, yeah, a lot Snooks. of grouper. Didn't get any reds today, though. I was all on a quick little recon mission. The new, uh, new scrimp. So what do you get? You did seven, you said? Seven turns. Okay, seven turns, and this is the Power Pro. Which version is this now? Original. Oh, original. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna reset that bad boy. Luke is sending it on down the line. Make sure to reset it. Absolutely. Gotta have this fair and square. I know a lot of people are probably rooting for Power Pro. I, I use a little bit of everything, but I I would say that I have more Power Pro on most of my reels. How about you? Yeah, right now, but I'm uh, starting to see some other lines get up there. I think you pretty just good. zero, don't you? Zero it out. All right. All right. Ready to rock? Power Pro. Whew. 
It's going, it's going. He's turning it. It's at 10. All right, over 10, 12. Oh, oh, your phone's ringing. It can't, don't distract yeah. him. Someone's oh, trying is, to call. This is about my AC, too. Let's hurry up and break this thing. <laughs> Ooh, 19. dang. Where did it snap on that one? That one, same thing. Oh, yep, same exact thing. Let me get dang. this. All right. While Hello. Luke gets this, his AC is out. Hey. <laughs> I will go ahead hey, and how's it uh, going? hopefully you guys can still Great. see me and close this up. So let us know what else. Let me actually make sure I'm zoomed out so you guys don't like literally looking at my, my nose hairs. Uh, make sure to let us know what else you guys want us to test on this bad boy. This was a completely like last minute, we're like, hey, let's just do a podcast and we were gonna do this anyways and just kind of goof around with it. So let us know, we will uh, be a whole lot more dialed in. I would say about 10% more professional next time uh, that we'll actually know exactly what all these things do. But Luke hasn't been playing around with it. Uh, certainly did not read the manual. And uh, I just love this stuff. We, you know, we want to constantly be leading with more of a, a science-based, like, hey, here's what really works based on real science, not just what someone says is the best. So we're gonna have a whole lot more of this stuff. We're gonna start investing heavily in anything that we possibly can to just give you guys the, the real deal, to tell you exactly what works because we don't have any sponsors. Luke's back. Yeah, we don't accept any sponsorships. And uh, we just wanna, this is like a, our own quest to find the best line for the value based on actual facts and not hype. Yep. And what's been surprising, there's been a lot of hype that has been misproven. Like I personally thought for many years that fluorocarbon line was automatically um, stronger with knots and stronger with abrasion. And so far, all of these types of tests have proven that to not be true. The actual normal mono, which is way less expensive, has better knot strength and better ab abrasion resistance not only for like a 30 pound to a 30 pound, but when, when you equate the diameters, it's better there as well. So um, there's a lot of hype out there. And, uh, and so we're just on a quest to find out like what is the truth? Like yep. what actually should we be buying? Us and you guys as well. And that's why, you know, over 14,000 anglers have joined the Insider Club because not only are we yep. doing stuff like this, <laughs> you get to, you, if you're not a member, you get to see our free stuff. That's a fraction of the content we're putting out there. But we tell you guys what really does work, and then we give it to you. We have a, a, a really fast-growing tackle store. It's unlike anything else. We don't carry crap. We carry the stuff that works the best, proven on real results. And you get 20% off or more on every single thing in the store as an insider. So we have some people that are spending two grand, $3,000 a year on tackle, like me, and saving 20% on everything. It's like being a pro staffer but you get more and you don't have to live with your mom in her basement and tell everyone you're a pro staffer and wear a pro staff t-shirt. <laughs> you actually get everything at 20% off across the board, regardless of the brand. So join us. We'd love to have you in yeah. the Insider Club. And, a lot more of these tests and check to out. Check out this, so this, this, knot, this is the knot that just broke, right? If we reeled it up to our, to our rod, right? That knot would have slid off in the water. Oh my gosh, my line broke, right? No, your line didn't break, your knot broke. And that's, that's the case, again, doing, all, doing these tests, whether you soak lines in water, it doesn't matter. I've done a lot where I soak them for multiple hours, then test them, the same results happen. The knots break, the line rarely ever breaks. So it's on us to know, each line is different. So I, I recommend testing out knots yourself uh, in case you're using a different line. We're gonna be testing a bunch, of, I've got a ton of lines down there. I have a lot more coming. Whoa! And, uh, I'd it, say you do, and we're going to be reporting, um, you know, what what the truth is, what like what the actual what this shows for for knot strength. We have an abrasion uh, tester over there. Mm -hmm. We're breaking that out. And uh, we're going to nice box it. lights that make it even. No wonder it's so dung all hot here. Yeah. Next test is Not we're going to leave all this line in this 92 degree weather and see what happens. Woo. Not 92, but it's it feels like it. No but doubt. anyhow, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Good time. We out of here. Thank you guys. If you're not a member, come join us in the Insider Club. Otherwise, let us know. Comment on what other lines in terms of brands and of course what knots you want us to test. We will show you which be the strongest. We out. Peace. Peace. Cause fishing, it's in my soul.